hi everyone welcome back to another one of my tutorial um, how to paint the foliage and leaves um, okay I've been uh, asking uh, how I paint the foliage uh, um, so many times with my viewers so therefore today I'm going to do a little tutorial about how I paint the foliage um, when you see it from afar and in close also um, right now I'm, I have mixed the uh, black color and the uh, green color to make the dark um, background like if you are instant you're painting the trees um, there's different layers in colors in trees so therefore right now I'm doing up close you will see how I do it up close and then when you draw or when you're painting your trees and your foliage and you will see the depth and definitions in it so you take your time you don't rush to do this you can try it and right now I'm filling up my paper with the black and the green um, a green paint and I, will, I slowly dab it dab 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 on the paper like this I will fill it completely to make um, the background that I want to show you exactly how I do it. It's a very easy step, um, very easy to do, so like I say, you slowly fill in the background first with a darker color for now I'm doing tropical leaves so therefore I like the green um, so the leaves look healthy and green so just filling in the background completely I'm using a flat brush and uh, I've opened it with my fingers so that they can give this effect when I dab it on the paper. Completely filling in. I make sure I don't keep any gaps. light I have to add a little bit more darker there it goes okay okay now my background is completely covered my darker green Okay, therefore for first step you need to add a darker darker color for the background for the trees not every time when you're going to paint a tree you have to add darker colors it depends on what you're doing but now for me I'm showing you how to do the foliage so how I do it and you can try now i'm like I'm, i was telling you this brush use i add a, a lighter color green very 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 lightly i apply it on the darker color which i have uh, done lightly not to press it dark, um, hard just lightly i make 
my way on the canvas slowly I add the foliage in making shapes transforming the the bushes like to something you know and slightly making little lighter leaves small small leaves give it um, give it uh, depth and definitions now we can see from afar that I have a um, small small leaf from the background very very small details take your time you don't have to rush Most of my tutorial have been uh, do, I've been doing it on time lapse because it takes me up approximately four hours, five hours to paint it. So therefore, this is why I do it on time lapse. Take too long um, uh, um, to play a, a tutorial. So therefore, I edit it in time lapse. So you see how I do my my paintings but for today um, it's an exception because I've been asking how I make the foliage so if there is any questions or anything you want me to show you um, uh, you want to learn from me from my art and the way I do my paintings so you can make request and like I say I will do it in tutorials so step by step so you can learn how I do it um, have as um, I've been always been saying in my uh, on my channel that I am not a professional artist. I have not been trained how to paint, but I've learned how to paint on my own. Um, my techniques and my the way I paint is my own way of doing it. So I have no degree or anything like that. But I love art. Um, I love to paint. So therefore. I show you what I know from my heart something that I love so much and I'm being very grateful for all those who attentively watch or ask me questions how I do things and I'm so grateful um, right now I will do the forefront details the details that you see much bigger from maybe when you see me painting you see something which is the leaf is more closer this is what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to add the details, which is bigger first. And slowly, you don't have to rush you. Just paint the, the leaves. I'm using a small brush, small uh, pointed brush. Um, for me, I don't uh, like um, I don't uh, um, state which which uh, brush I'm using because each individually one of us. We, I think when we are painting, we have a brush that we think it's best for us to do something. It can be you're doing using a smaller brush or a bigger brush. It depends upon you. As for me, I if I'm doing something, I don't choose size of brush or to tell someone that you can use this size. But it depends on the someone. If I'm using someone a brush that someone maybe is not comfortable using to do this type of layers, so it um uh, it um that person is using something else. It's okay. You can use whatever brush you feel you feel comfortable using and you do your work with it um, like i'm doing right now with the leaves i slowly painted it and i'm going to turn it around so you can see more clearly and just i'm using the small one to do brush like i say and i just add the details up wait i'm going to add more paint And that's it.
this is a way that you can do leaves So we are more leaves. This is another way you can do your leaves. Rest. Like this. I take my time. Then you take your time also. Um, I'm using the color green, light green, a little bit of yellow also, just to make the different types of colors to make the to show the collective uh, leaves which are very healthy you know the green ones leaves are uh, leaves of plants and trees and foliage are varied into different shapes um, especially the tropical one the one where I come from in Seychelles um, normally we see all the green leaves and this is why you will see me normally in my artwork I paint very healthy green leaves because uh, where I come from I see very 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 um, a lot of trees green trees all around so this is why I like to do tropical paintings in my work Details. So anyway, I, I had I, you don't have to rush when you do this. Just to be precise and doing different type of leaves in different shapes. Like this. It's very easy. Thank you. 
I will turn my paper on the side so you can see better how I do this one. I just take the pointed one and glide it down slowly and this is it. Very easy. This is another way you can paint like palm trees, things like that. slowly press it down point it press it down like this from the point to the tips and press it down press it down I'm using I'm still using the green um, darker green and lighter green and a little bit of yellow on the top and I just mix them together for the first dip I do the green one the darker green and then from the tips i add the lighter green and then some white also from the tips and then i just mix them together and and do my leaves leaves are various in different colors so me i like to do fresh green leaves and this is a uh, the smallest details you can do also example so for a small details you can do on like on the foliage these are the foliage that you can see from close like for instance we have seen in my painting the closer ones these are an idea and how you can do it this also is another type of leaves that you can try you can do it like on the bigger scale and a smaller scale also because when you're doing trees there are trees that you see from afar you don't see the details so close but you can do this very small details you take your time to give it a real realistic look you know This time I'm using a lighter color, more yellow than the green, the yellow and the white and the green also. This also is a type of leaves you can do. Normally, I don't talk much when I'm painting um, uh, because I like I don't know exactly the proper way to explain things, but I'm doing my best and hope uh, when I'm explaining and you guys um, actually can understand what I'm trying to explain in, in my tutorial also. Um, it's the first time that I explain a tutorial um, how I do my artwork so please bear with me and I hope everything is clear enough for you and uh, the explanation also is cleared enough for you so you can understand what I'm trying to demonstrate here in my artwork
and when you do the leaves you don't have to practically do it in order so you can do it in different transform the leaf from right to left left to right on top of each other you can do this also so they give it the forms like I'm doing right now These are the small veils, the smallest one. Very easy. I just do the little details. And I will try to show you from up close um, how I do the smaller sleeves a little bit more closer.
sorry for the black noise. My kids are playing outside. Okay, this is it. You see? Just small details. Okay. that's how the details is look from the the, the the bushes and the foliage that it looks more closer to you from the, the view and now after that I'm going to show you the smallest details that you can do for the, the, the leaves that look more further away from your artwork from a from foliage for, if I can see after doing this okay. turn my paper so you can see clearly what I'm doing doing and adding some small details in between the leaves
okay right now I'm going to do the the foliage like I was saying that looks more for the for the back um, uh, I'm going to add uh, a lighter green I'm still using the flat brush which I've played with it and make it like open a little bit from the from the brush and then I just add the, a lighter green and I slowly like I was doing earlier slowly lightly making different patterns so that I can see the foliage forming you know the leaves combinations together forming in, from the background already now you can see the details from the leaves how it it's it's forming collectively from each other like for instance as part of the bushes there's a form and the other part there's another form so you actually see layers forming those are the small details from the background you can do like this also it's very easy just dab 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 in different patterns you don't have to do it um like uh, practically perfect in the first time but the more you play with the colors you will see how your painting transform i also adding a little yellow and a little bit of white on top of each other and i cover it and i play it now i'm doing a little bit of white now you see the leaves how it's coming out from the back you see If you don't see properly when you're painting it's always good to fall back so you can see the details you're doing if it's going nicely or for instance if you like the pattern you're doing the leaves just fall back a little bit see how it is and if you like it you keep it the way it is and now I'm going to add smaller sleeves like i was doing earlier but this one is from the further back the, the further back so when you see you see the front the bigger leaves from the front and the smaller sleeve in the back so it gives the um like depth in your artwork in, in your leaves so you see the darker foliage and the back and in the forefront you see the the lighter ones and the bigger ones is if you understand what i mean I slowly draw um, paint individual leaves just give it a nice nice form and then like this adding different shapes of the leaves Slowly, you don't have to rush, like I say. The more time you take um, to form the, the foliage, and the better it will look, I assure you. If you take more time, like doing the small details, the end result will become better. You will see that the, the foliage you're trying to do, it will become like very good and very look, it will look really realistic. Please don't rush whatever you're doing, doing your artwork, don't rush to do it. Take your time, do it. If you don't know how to do it, watch other vloggers like I do. Um, for me to learn, I learn from others also. Watch them, 
even though if they are doing in timelines watch over again see how they do you practice practice every time and then you do it and you will see in time you will develop like i've done for one year now on youtube i will see myself developing slowly the, the more i paint the, the better i see my work is coming right now i will encourage you um, uh, to try or watch others learn from them and uh, like i'm doing now i'm doing a tutorial you can learn something from me and i also because i also learn from you also we are a family in art so therefore it's good to learn from others and whatever you can do um, uh, um uh, capture from the other person you try and you do it um and i think that's it guys um i wish you all the best and i hope uh, my tutorials were beneficial for you and that you have learned something from me um, I'm grateful that you have watched and I wish you all the best and hope to see you back in another one of my vlogs again. So therefore I will let you watch the end of the video and you take care.